What is TOC? Can anyone tell me what it is? You know, there was a time that it was so easy to define, but then it grew and mushroomed and mushroomed, and now what the hell is it? About a year ago, I was forced to uh, really give some serious uh, thinking to uh, define it. What happened is that one of our crazy friends, Professor Jim Cox, have decided that TUC now is so big that it's about time to write the handbook of TUC. So he went out and uh, marked about 40 TUC world experts and approached each one of them and convinced each one to write a chapter for the handbook, giving him a title. And then he said, OK, you can write the introduction to the handbook from the perspective of the founder. Now, how can you say no now? <laughs> <laughs> so I said, fine. Uh, but then, what do you write? What am I going to write? What, how do you put an introduction to all of TOC without being totally stupid? So this took a lot of time thinking. I think that what helped me was a very famous story in the Jewish tradition. This is a true story. Uh, it's about around 30 AD, which means almost 2,000 years old. And the story is about a Gentile, a non-Jew, that came to the two great rabbis of his times and ask each, will you please teach me all of Judaism at the time that I can still balance on one leg? So one of them chased him out of the house, very brutally, but the other one have answered. And the answer has become very famous, and after that there was so much studying to study the answer. And the answer was, don't do unto others what you don't want others to do to you. This is all of Judaism. Everything else is direct derivatives. Go and study. What a fantastic answer. By the way, it took hundreds of years to decipher it. In other words, to prove that really all of Judaism can be deduced directly, one-to-one, -one, from one single sentence. And this gives a new meaning to what is TOC. In other words, can you come up with one sentence that encompasses all of TOC as it is now and as it will be in the future, and you, can, you have to prove that all what we see under the, this umbrella of TOC can be derived directly from that sentence. Quite a big challenge. I started to work on it, and then I found to my amazement that's probably it is possible to condense all of TOC, not to one sentence, but to one word. Of course, after that, it took me months to prove that, yes, from this word, directly every, all of TOC is coming out. But the thing that was amazing to me as well, not that only all of TOC is coming out, but what came for the first time so clear in my mind is that all the evolution of TOC came out one-to-one. -one. In other words, the evolution of TOC is not done by fluke. There is only one way it can evolve, and that's how it, it evolved. And it's all coming from the base of TOC, which is only one word. Can anybody uh, guess the word? Uh, when I've asked uh, the same question in Latin America just a month ago, uh, Alejandro, one of the real world TOC experts, have answered, he knows, and the answer is, oh shit. <laughs> but this is two words, not one. <laughs> I think that the word that encompasses all of TOC is that you can derive, and that's what I will try to do in the next three hours, uh, that you can derive all of TOC from it, is a word that will not come as any surprise to you, the word focus. And everything comes from that. 
So let's go about it systematically.